923 on a Friday. This is a good day. Latin American food, traditional arts and crafts, and, well, of course, a whole lot of fun. And a lively event for the entire family, kids and grown-ups alike. Here to tell us more about the festival, Dia de los Muertos is, uh, or Day of the Dead, rather. We have Kristen Vosco with us, the Marketing Director at the Living Arts and Science Center. Thanks for joining us. Um, this is a fantastic celebration, and honestly, one of my favorite subjects to learn about when I was taking Spanish class back in high school. I think it's just so fascinating the way people uh, look at Dia de los Muertos. So tell us about your event they you have coming up. Sure. So it is a beautiful, fun, colorful event. Um, it takes place on November 1st, which is Tuesday this mm -hmm. year. Okay. Um, it starts with dancing and music and food outside. Mm -hmm. And inside we have crafts for kids and families, uh, traditional crafts. Mm -hmm. And then um, we have a processional, a parade mm -hmm. that's led by the dancers okay. from the Living Arts and Science Center to the old Episcopal graveyard, which is close by, just a block. Mm -hmm. um, and there we have altars or ofrendas set mm -hmm. up that community groups have done to recognize and remember people that have passed on. It, it's such a neat celebration. You mentioned uh, the amount of culture that goes into it, too, right. from, from the uh, traditional attire to, to even the processional, and then, of course, the altars to go along with it. You mentioned crafts. I know uh, the skulls, decorating the skulls, a huge part right. of Dia de los Muertos. Yes, the sugar skulls are mm -hmm. a big part of it, and we have those available that you can decorate. Mm -hmm. We also have paper flowers. Um, some mask making, all the traditional crafts, papel picado, which mm -hmm. is cut paper. Yeah. Um, and those are things, some of them you can take home with you, and mm -hmm. some of them are collaborative projects. It's kind of like a, a history lesson, too. It's very infor uh, informal, yet, I mean, you're doing hands-on activities, so the kids are obviously going to, you know, be preoccupied with right. that, too. Yes. So uh, you got a little bit of everything, um, kids and grown-ups alike. Uh, just very neat celebration, and too. And beautiful, too. Mm -hmm. Just a lot of fun. And food. And who doesn't can't, like food? You can't pass up the food, no <laughs> way. Absolutely. Well, you guys are always up to uh, so much at the Living Arts and Science Center. Yeah. Kind of looking down the road here, what do you have coming up in the next few months? Yeah, so um, we have our no school day classes coming up. Anytime school is out, we okay. have classes at the center. Got to do something. Got to <laughs> have something for the kids to do, and those are always a great time as well. We've got election day coming up, which is mm -hmm. a good time to sign the kids up and yep. try it out. Um, yeah, and there's always something. We have a Discovery Saturday, Discovery Thursday. Mm -hmm. Great times to come down to the center. And if people want uh, more information, either about Dia de los Muertos or uh, maybe just a schedule of your events coming up, where can they go? Uh, LASCLEX.org. Okay. That's all that information. And uh, one more time, this is Tuesday night. I'm telling you right now, the weather looks beautiful for I've your parade. I've been watching. Yes, it looks awesome. How Thank exciting. you for that. Uh, we I, appreciate I it. I do what I can. <laughs> Elise gets the assist on it. Right. Too. Yes. But uh, thanks for stopping by yeah, and for keep up the good work. Always love having you on the program. Appreciate it. All Thank right, you. Thanks again. All right, we've got 36 flicks coming up next. Keep it up right here.